All right, well, hopefully that works, or, Jesus. Hopefully that was a helpful. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks again for watching Bob's exec... <laughs> <laughs>
And what that does is that seals a nice airtight seal. So I'm going to take my hose, kind of push it in there. It doesn't have to go too far. If you can see it, just like a quarter inch or something like that. And that's that's pretty much it as far as that. Now um, I'm going to explain how to use this thing now. I already have gas inside here, or CO2 gas. And twist this on. You want to make sure when you're doing this, you do it in a fairly ventilated area. You don't want to be in some tight little closet or something and leave this on too long because uh, it's not good to be breathing it in. Now, I also like to put like a paper towel or something down in here when I'm ready to do uh, to euthanize one of the rodents. <laughs> All right, so this is a great way if you don't want to do live feeding and say you want to do frozen thawed or if you buy your rodents that are live and you have no access to frozen, you can euthanize them and feed them the same way you would do frozen thawed. You just don't have to thaw them out. So the temperature of the rodent would be perfect, you know. Um, now, what I do is I put these clamps on because when you turn the gas on, um, at least on this particular tub here, if, you, if I happen to turn it on too fast, what it'll do is it'll blow up like a balloon and air or CO2 would actually escape from the sides here. So the key is to turn it on slowly and I like to just put the clamps on just for a little bit of extra security for, uh, for no gases releasing that we don't need to be released. And you can use probably like a belt or a bungee cord or if you have big rubber bands or even if you put some books on top for weight, you know, just to make sure it's nice and tight. Now, what you want to do is you want to have it turn it on slow and you're going to see bubbles start bubbling out of this water here. That's pushing the oxygen that's in here out and the water is going to allow from no oxygen to go back into the hose back into this container that's why everything is nice and airtight now you can see this blowing up a little bit and then the bubbles i usually let this run for like 10 minutes or 10 seconds or so and then turn it off now there's going to be CO2 in here now, no oxygen, and there's no way for oxygen to get back in here. And I usually let it sit for 30 seconds to a minute, you know, just kind of look, make sure everything is good and everybody's sleeping. And then um, you can go ahead and feed your rodents, or if you're going to do the frozen thaw, if you need to freeze them for later, um, you can do that. Thanks again for watching Bod's Exotic Reptiles, and if you haven't subscribed, please do that, and hit the like button. Thank you.